Hello there. Well, check this example. You can open it by clicking inside Arduino. Arduino software, I mean. Inside File, Examples, Stepper, and Motor Knob. Okay. So the only thing you have to change, we'll go in a minute to the wiring, but the only thing you have to change is uh, this value over here, okay? You have to check it out so that you put right the number of steps your stepper works with, okay? And here the function that uh, moves the stepper takes into consideration that value but also it specifies which outputs you're gonna use to excite the coils in the stepper you know so here the exits the pins we're gonna use are 8, 9, 10, 11 as you can see there okay now we go a little bit downwards and you can see you can also state what speed in RPM you want your stepper to move and for our main function okay what we're gonna do is with the input of an analog pin connected to a potentiometer we're gonna just check out we're gonna check out what are the changes in the value and uh, depending on the changes, the stepper should move one way or another. Okay, so that's the software part. Uh, let's go to the wiring. Okay, uh, I'm not neat at all when it comes to wiring. So first of all, please do it better than I do. Well, this is my cheap Arduino Mega board and for it, uh, for the potentiometer to give a value into the analog input in the program you have to configure which analog input you want the standard that comes in this example is the zero so as you can see we connected the middle wire of our potentiometer to this A0 analog input and the other two wires one will go to 5 volts and the other one to zero okay so the external legs of the potentiometer will go one to five and the other one to zero and the middle <coughs> the middle leg is just a voltage divider you know so depending on the value of the resistance you put in between you'll get a higher or lower reading in the analog input okay well that's for the input now let's see how we wired the uh, control of the stepper as you can see here well I'll try to check it for you we have pins 8, 9, 10, 11 connected to our stepper driver so let's see how that works you can see the right wire is the green one goes to the pin 11 and that will be connected to our marvelous motor controller will be connected to the most of the right pin which will be in 4 okay and for input for output sorry uh, 8 which will be here in this frame the wire in the left that should go to in one okay so that will make the connection between the stepper or well this is just a, um, a driver with, for, with which you can control two regular DC motors uh, through pulse wave modulation or one stepper Motor. Okay, I'm doing the second or the later, and now we go to the wiring from the driver to the stepper. This is what worked for me. Okay, this is a um, 
This is a stepper model. Okay, you can see here. There you go. It's a Minebea AM257. Okay, it's rated 7 volts. And, um, and well, I, I just, I mean, I don't know really if it's in good condition, but it seems so. So now it's uh, it's got a little bit of jittering, uh, it's, but it's staying in its place. There's something wrong with the software because I just saw I've configured it with that 100 steps when it should be 200. Okay, so I will change it that. We'll change that in a minute. And the wiring goes as follows: the flat wire has got four connectors, as most as most separate motors do, and so the the red one, I've got it connected to second connector of motor B. Next one will be second connector of motor A, which will be here. This is motor A, this is motor B. The third connector from the left will be in the first connector of motor B and the um, right at most connector or wire will be connected to uh, motor A first connector. Okay, so that's how it be As connected. you can see, I've changed two parameters in our software in the program. Remember this ex example motor knob, and what I, what have I changed? Where well, I've changed the steps because my stepper is 200 and it's not 100 as it was written before. So there it goes, 200. And also um, the speed, I've beefed the speed a little bit so it will have a faster response to my turning of the knob from the potentiometer okay so let's see how it responds here we have the potentiometer and we have the stepper which as you can see the driver is working and the stepper is trying to be steady and now let's see I'm gonna move it can you see it there you go yeah Oh yeah, that's quite a, quite cool. It's a pity I have this crappy uh, potentiometer. If I had a big knob, you could see how turning relates to movement in the stepper. But I'm gonna try like that. There and there and there. Nice. Okay, a little turning the knob means a lot of turning in the stepper because the analog reading um, takes up to uh, 1024 um, levels, you know, when uh, taking the analog input. So if I make a quick turn, that's uh, some hundreds of steps. And for a stepper, with 200 steps per revolution, that means that if I turn half, half a turn, that will be approximately 500 steps, which will be more than two turns in the stepper. So even if you, if you, if you have a high speed, uh, still it will kind of trail the movement in your knob. You can change that by. Um, adjusting the value the stepper has to move uh, in relation to the uh, analog input so that's will be easy okay that's it thanks for watching